a lot of guys always wonder, what do you need when you're inspecting a roof? Well, I'm gonna tell you, a lot of guys have a big ass truck and all that stuff. I really just roll around in something that I could put my suitcase in the back, some literature and whatnot, and a thing that I can have a computer and a printer on. And you can see it's all piled up with cookies and mess and stuff like that. So you don't need too much as a salesman. If I needed to while a build was going on, I could still carry some bundles. I could put some stuff in the back here and help my crew out. The next thing is, is you need a good safe ladder. I always carry around a nice safe ladder. This one's for 250 pounds. These are a little expensive, but it's well worth the investment because it's easy to carry and move around. You're never hurting yourself. But the biggest thing is, is your little things. There's a lot of salesmen who go around, they don't have one of these. Now this little roof right here, I don't have to pull a measurement. If this one was a go and she said, I'm paying you, I would measure this thing out with this. And then I use this. They call it a piece of paper and a pen. I'd put that together and I would be able to order this roof and do it this afternoon if we were a go. So always carry around a good tape measure with you. I can't believe how many guys don't. Measure your pipes, measure your valley, measure your little things. Don't be depending on those aerial measurements so much. The other thing you always need is this one. This is called a pitch gauge. Now this one's really old. This one's probably at least 18 years old, but it still works perfect. This is something that's never gonna break. You can always document and get an accurate measurement of pitch, right? Because everybody who depends on their phone, it's gonna run out of batteries. There are some carriers who won't accept it. And uh, it's just better to have a pitch gauge. It's easy to use and snap a photo. The other thing you're gonna need is that thing I showed you upstairs, a little shingle gauge, right? This is laminated and it has it for three tab. Now, actually, I think this one's pretty old too. I don't think this one's any good anymore. I better get a new one. So I'm gonna do that. When I get a new one, I'm gonna throw it out. On that same thing, I have something called a rare earth magnet. If I have a rare earth magnet, I'm able to prove something's copper or aluminum. So I'm able to double or triple my price just for that little 30 cent thing. You gotta buy one and you gotta drill a hole through it and put it on your keychain. If you're a smart dude, you're always gonna carry a nice, hard putty knife, all right? Not a soft one, not a big one, a small one. You're gonna pull that up and you're gonna be able to check flashing, check stuff like that. And then the last thing you're gonna need is a metal gauge. When you have a metal gauge, you become top dog because you're able to measure the gauge of a metal roof or an aluminum roof so you could get your, your price difference. The difference between a 24 and a 26 gauge is huge, all right? So you're gonna wanna get one of these. These are probably like 30 bucks. So that's your basic package. Underneath the seats, I'm gonna show you a few other little things that the big dogs carry. Hopefully I can get to them. You're gonna carry one of these. So when I go up on a nice big commercial, I'm able to measure that sucker really fast. The next thing I carry is one of these. So when I go, and there you gotta take this thing and you put a lacrosse ball on the bottom. You put a little hole through it. And when I'm on a giant church and it's a slate church and I don't cut, cut on a big tiles church or something, and it's 50 feet down, I don't have to crawl along. I just toss this sucker. That ball will go right on down and you're able to, and it will stop at the gutter because it falls down and goes in the gutter and you're able to stay on top of the roof. The next thing you want, and the other one's on the other side, is two rulers, a long piece of string, and this, it's called a string level. Okay, all you dudes wanna go out there and you wanna be selling all these big, huge flats and stuff, and you're gonna depend on somebody getting the pitch of some fucked up flat that's from 1980 with 10 layers and stuff. But if I string this 500 feet, I put this string level, I put the string on each side of it on this ruler, one side says 15 and one side says 10 and that string is level, that's five inches over 500 feet. So I'll know that that has a 1-8 pitch. So it needs to be pitch and tar. And I have to then have ISO board to be able to use 
TPO or whatever you do. So I'm gonna have to increase the pitch. So these two tools, these one, two, three things, and then a core sampler, which is on the other side. Have a core sampler so you can take a core sample and a little repair kit is what's gonna make it so that you could actually sell commercial. It's knocking the door, but it's also evaluating that claim. So you're gonna have to have these things. You can put all this stuff together for a hundred bucks or something. Man, off of this little roll of string, I've made almost $400,000 at one time. So that's what you want. Having these two tool, these two, two rulers like this and this and this little level is what made me that commission because I was the only dude who knew how to evaluate that roof. It's real easy stuff, it's not brain surgery. Those are your basic tools you want. You want at least this stuff, right? Then an advanced guy will have a metal gauge and you want to, and if you want to go for the big dogs, get some of this stuff and put it together for yourself.